performance twice. I'm going to do my best to try not to rudely interrupt you the first time through. Sometimes you've got to do one to kind of get one out. Do one, and then immediately after you finish, begin it again from the top. Thank you. Does yeah. your life stop every day at four? Do your kids take nights and weekends off? Do your hopes stop at Broad and South Streets? When the stock market is closed, America isn't. Your financial life is bigger than Wall Street. That's why at Merrill Lynch, our perspective is bigger than Wall Street. It's why we have 14,000 financial advisors far from Wall Street. And why today, they're introducing a new way to optimize your money, where everything works harder by working together. Introducing Total Merrill. It's the future of financial advice. Does your life stop every day at four? Do your kids take nights and weekends off? Do you, your hopes stop at Broad and South Streets? When the stock market is closed, America isn't. Your financial life is bigger than Wall Street. That's why at Merrill Lynch, our perspective is bigger than Wall Street. That's why we have 14,000 financial advisors far from Wall Street. And why today, they're introducing a new way to optimize your money, where everything works harder by working together. Introducing Total Merrill. It's the future of financial advice. Super, thank you. Where are you done with your if and the then begins? After what word? After the word street, right? Everything before the word street was trying to bully everybody's conscience into an opinion, a thought, a feeling, or a need. By the time he hits street, he's done. The rest of it is then. Okay, so the pattern marking technique that I'd like for y'all to begin to adopt is put a big double slash mark in there at street. You've actually escalated your alignment, and that's when you're done. It's like having a map before you go somewhere. It's just nice to know when to turn left or to turn right instead of having a vague, blurry sense of having to remember that you're going to have to turn at some point during the story. You've got enough going on in your head. It's really, I'm a big fan of marking things up. Broad and South Streets, boom. So that's where I feel a big downshift, or it could be a big upshift. It depends how you walk into it. Right at the double slash mark, I want you to put a big open box. In that open box, I want you to write the response you're trying to procure from your audience's conscience. It gives you a goal. Again, unlike acting, for acting's sake, acting for advertising has a goal. I mean, a lot of people would say that on stage you have to know what your want is in the scene also, but it's more interpretive in acting for acting's sake. In acting for advertising, it's not subject to interpretation. The writer of this spot needed to get everybody saying, thinking, feeling X to themselves in that box so that the rest of the argument is logical. If they've gotten anybody in the audience or the consumer thinking anything other than what the need is in that box of that response, you're losing customers, right? So it's not an esoteric question. In the second performance, does your life stop every day at four? Do your kids take nights and weekends off? Do your hopes stop at Broad and South Streets? Too open-ended, too at risk of people going, mm, yeah, you know what? I do work a nine-to-five job. I'm pretty much done by the time the workday is over. Well, then you don't need this product. Do your kids take nights and weekends off? Yeah, I have robots <laughs> with no needs in the middle of the night. Do your hopes stop at Broad and South Street? Yeah, actually, I live on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, and I can get everything I need from all the fancy financial services in Manhattan. This stuff is, that's being sold in this spot is... Uh, a financial service for people in the hinterland. So they're trying to get customers in Cincinnati and Denver and Sacramento. So they're trying to say, hey, you don't live in snotty, fancy Manhattan, do you? If you ask that question in an open-ended way, do your hopes stop at Broad and South Streets? A bunch of people just flipped out the door. Do your hopes stop at Broad and South Streets? Now you got them where you want them. You had them where you wanted them at the end of your first take. You walked your pitch down. That's one way of doing it, but you can walk your pitch up and still be circumspect. Do your hopes stop at Broad and South Streets? That gets me the no that I want in that box. You could walk your pitch up, but you just have to work harder on the attitude. Do your hopes stop at Broad and South Streets? You can still do it by walking your pitch up, but you definitely have to know that you're after a no in that box. Give it a go. Does your life stop every day at four? Do your kids take nights and weekends off? I'm sorry, one more time, just a little slower. I'm sorry, one more time, a little slower. 
Does your life wait, wait, a little more slowly and a little more like in my conscience? Does your life stop every day at four? Do your kids take nights and weekends off? Do your hopes stop at Broad and South Street? Too conversational. I'm like, what? Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get a no. Okay. Does your life stop every day at four? It doesn't. Does your life stop every day at four? Do your kids take nights and weekends off? Do you, your hopes stop at Broad and South Streets? No. When the stock market is closed, America isn't. Oh. Your financial life is bigger than Wall Street. That's why at Merrill Lynch, our perspective is bigger than Wall Street. That's why we have 14,000 financial advisors far from Wall Street. And why, today, they're introducing a new way to optimize your money where everything works harder by working together. Introducing Total Merrill. It's the future of financial advice. That's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Thank you.